What is up, everyone? Guys, listen up. We got absolutely amazing footage for the witch. We got a lot of mechanics that have been showcased as well, how the skills work, all the cool stuff. Now, this is from Open World Gaming. I'm going to leave the link to his channel in the description. Make sure to show some love. Also, do keep in mind, I'm going to start a giveaway very soon for the early access of PoE2. We're going to be giving away a few keys. So if you're interested, make sure to be sub to the channel. We're going to announce the giveaway here soon. So do not miss out, okay? Let's get right into it. Oh, we're talking, showing the witch. Um, it's also a good go. time to talk about one of the other character progression systems in Path of Exile 2, uh, which is Spirit. Spirit, yeah. So the witch is a primary summoner, but she also has a range of other supporting skills. But the thing we want to show you first is just the fact that um, she uh, often, and in fact, all the classes use a resource called Spirit. So there's a Ooh, new type of skill gem, an uncut spirit gem, which you can use here. And that'll um, give you a bunch of these, uh, uh, another skill screen with a bunch more abilities. Um, what these ones are is um, for giving you things that are kind of... Oh, there you see. Reservation 30 spirit. So this one is going to take 30 spirit to use. Requires level 22, 52 intellect. Interesting. Somewhere halfway between a passive bonus and an active one. Um, this one here called Grim Feast um, feeds on corpses to bolster your energy shield. Um, but we've got lots of these for all classes. All classes can use them. For example, on Sorceress. Oh, take a look uh, at that real quick. That, that was but interesting. We've got lots of these. That was interesting. What was that skill again? Feeds on corpses to bolster your energy shield. While active, enemies and minions that die in your presence will drop Grim Remnants. Picking up a Grim Remnant grants you energy shield and can overflow your energy shield up to double its normal maximum. That is insane. Imagine the build you can make. kind of somewhere make. halfway between a passive bonus and an active one. Um, this one here called Grim Feast um, feeds on corpses to bolster your energy shield. This is so um, exciting, But we've got dude. lots of these for all classes. All classes can use them. For example, on Sorceress uh, here, you've got Outgama. There's one here called Raging Spirits, which um, means that every time you use a fire skill, it summons a uh, Raging Spirit. Um, so you can, like, as I said, nice. it's somewhere between like an active and a passive. Um, but uh, for the uh, minion characters in particular, they're going to want to get a lot of spirit because um, all minions are paid for um, with, with, uh, with, the, with the same yeah. resource. So um, what we're going to do here is um, in, order to, uh, in order to use spirit, effectively what you do is you go to the skill screen and if you've got minions there, you can just click the little plus button, uh, get some extra minions he summoned and two um, of there them. you go. He summoned two of them and they were what, like 35 each I'm guessing, right? Minions are paid for um, with, uh, with, the, with the same resource. So, um, what we're going to do here is, um, in order to uh, in order to use spirit, effectively what you do is you go to the skill screen, and if you've got minions, yeah, thirty five. You see that thirty five spirit for one. It's there. You can just click the little plus button. Seventy for two. Uh, get some extra okay. minions, and um, there you go. They popped up. Now these are permanent minions, which means that if they die, um, they're going to respawn again automatically. You don't have to spawn them constantly. Um, Dude, and that like means changes that the like that, the quality of life changes like that is gonna is is what's gonna put this game apart from any other game out there right now I'm, I'm gonna be honest because the fact that you don't have to think about that spam the button to consistently on the corpses and try to get them up all the time the fact that you have your main minions and i'm sure he's gonna cover it now but there's also temporary minions is incredible and it's probably gonna depend on what kind of fight is in front of you i'm guessing that you know it's gonna be easier to have the temporary minions up because those are dependent on the corpses while you're clearing, right? I don't think they're going to be as effective as bo on boss fights. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, during boss fights and things like that, it makes it a, um, uh, a a lot easier. You don't have to worry about having to have corpses every time, that kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. But we also do want to support large minion armies. Look at the army, of that, dude. We also have uh, minion skills that you can summon from corpses That's as well. Crazy. So all these little scorpions here, um, those are summoned from corpses. Uh, while you're clearing, you'll get large armies. Um, during boss fights, it'll be a little bit more focused uh, using the uh, minions, main. Uh, the, the, the main minions. minions for the most yeah. part. Yeah, okay. Now he's also got some other supporting skills, uh, a lot of uh, things focusing on chaos damage. So um, he's got a skill called Contagion that'll spread between monsters and um, other things like Essence Drain and so on, like just a, a, a few other chaos damaging skills. Now the other thing with minions is that all the permanent minions come with extra abilities uh, that you can trigger manually. So you see those little uh, markers on your minions. Um, you can use those to explode your minions. Yes. So that's the arsonists. Uh, it's their ability. They'll throw a little bomb and explode your minion. Um, and uh, there's, all, but there's also other ones. For example, the uh, snipers have the ability to create little gas clouds. And uh, the more minions you have, the more often you can use those abilities. So effectively, it means that each minion also effectively serves as an extra skill as well as being a, uh, a meat shield. Wait, well. that's nice. So the more minions you're going to have, the the more you can spam those abilities, essentially, right? So depending on which ability you want to spam, that's the kind of minion that you want to go for, right? Like if you like the explosions, you're just going to have that. If you like the arrows, you're going to have those minions and you can just keep using that skill more often depending on the number of minions is wild, bro. 
That's wild. Now, you got to imagine you combine those things with the passive skill tree, the gems. You change how these skills work with the percentages, the damage, all that kind of stuff. Just think about, about the crazy combinations that you can create. Just one other quick thing I wanted to show you as well is that um, the, the witch has a lot of other summoning options even beyond just the ones that were picked because she also has uh, things called spectres. spectres. So basically anytime you kill a monster on the ground, it can be turned into a spectre. We've actually created one here from Act 1 this called is a crazy Cultist right here, Archer. Guys. Um, they cost quite a bit of spirit, so we're going to unsummon a couple of the arsonists and put these uh, this Cultist Archer in. Was that 70? Now the nice thing is, is that because lots of uh, monsters in Path of Exile have different interesting abilities, there's all those abilities can be used by the summoner as well. So this one has the ability to summon these uh, like with picks because she also has uh, things called spectres. So basically spectres, anytime you okay. kill a monster on the ground, it can be turned into a spectre. We've actually created one here from Act 1 called a Cultist Archer. Um, they cost quite a bit of spirit, so we're going to unsummon a couple of the arsonists and put these uh, this Cultist Archer in. Now the nice thing is, is that because lots of uh, monsters in Path of Exile have different interesting abilities, there's all those abilities can be used by the summoner as well. So nice. this one has the ability to summon these uh, like purple polyp things. So you, you understand what that means, right? Probably what we're going to see right here is that whatever the ability of the enemy is while you're fighting it, they are going to have that ability while you summon them, which is insane, dude. It's, it's crazy. Both slow monsters and um, add, monsters, uh, weakness this one, to okay. chaos damage as well. Um, so uh, she's hopefully, yeah, she's using it there with those little things that um, exploded there. Yeah, the purple um, things. Because those are going to make monsters uh, weaker to uh, chaos damage, it'll be a, a very good part of this build. Um, it's not as many minions, but the nice thing is, is that um, it'll actually end up being more DPS. And I think for bosses, it probably is better for this build than not. That's what Yeah, these are, because he said that it has a weakened effect when it comes to chaos damage. And obviously, if you're finding a, fighting a boss, there's not going to be a lot of corpses most of the time. So having the ability to summon this minion that will weaken a boss and gives you the ability to deal more chaos damage is obviously going to be the pick when it comes to single target damage and boss fights, right? This bar right here is where the spirit is, right? Like around the mana. Now, the question is, how much are we going to have total? Well Maybe I'm missing something if I am because I don't see the total number of the spirit. So if I am missing that, make sure to let me know in the comment section below. I think we can figure that out. Like when he unsummons, is the bar moving up? Let's see. Oh yeah, it is. You see, he unsummoned 135 and then another 35 and it went all the way up here. So this is approximately 70. Guys, we're looking at 70 spirit right over here. Now when he summons and he did summon one specter, right? I believe it was called specter. I might be wrong. Let's see if he summons. Yeah, that was 70 and boom, it's disappeared. Yeah, so approximately around this area is where 70 spirit is. So I'm guessing we're probably gonna have around 150 total. And maybe as you progress through the game, you're gonna be able to add more and more spirit and have crazier and crazier enemies, uh, sorry, minions and summons in general. That looks crazy, bro. That looks incredible. Yeah, that was the new footage that we got for the witch, which is insane i'm excited to check out this character i'm going to be making builds guides we're also going to take a look at other characters as well and making guides and builds for those in the future so stay tuned for all of it thank you so much for showing up if you guys did enjoy this video slap a like sub to the channel as always stay positive stay disciplined and i'll see you all on the next one i mean we literally have the best community of all time Oh, we got no scopes!